consulting friends. I'm doing my editing in the bar here, sitting outside. So hopefully it's not too noisy, some birds. Um, we're gonna be doing the chalk coloring of the face. So you saw what brand there of the pastels. And you also will need a little scraping tool, a paintbrush, kind of a sturdy paintbrush. Um, one that's not gonna bend you know, over real easily. And then a smaller um, kind of sturdy paintbrush there. And I will link those. You'll need a little paint palette. I will link the items in the beginning paragraph uh, so that you can find them on Amazon. So I hope you've been doing well. As you can maybe hear in my voice, I have yet another cold. <laughs> it's been a rough month. So this is my second cold. Either that or it is the cotton flying around all over the place. I, I don't think I've ever seen as much cotton or maple trees in my garden that I've been picking out. So there's that. Uh, all right, so here I am scraping the chalk pastels. Oh, and also uh, when I do this with the chalk, I do like to wear a mask because the the chalk does, the, because you're scraping the dust off, it does irritate me a little bit. So if it doesn't bother you, don't wear a mask. If it does, go ahead and wear one. So I'll leave that up to you. But um, so here I scraped off some purple for the eyeshadow. So you can see the different colors that I'm mixing there. A little black for the eyeliner. And it was a little dark there. So just, if it's dark, I added white just to lighten it up and some shading areas for the face uh, along the creases of the nose. I don't really practice makeup contouring on myself so much but I'm gonna try my hand here at the uh, makeup contouring for Winifred here on the doll. So you can mix the colors just like paint. It's pretty fun. You can see why the dust would maybe get all over the place. And I'm just using a little butter knife to scrape away the sides. So we'll get to the painting part here really soon. Almost done finishing up mixing. If you're liking these videos, please do subscribe. I think the last time I checked, I had about 70% uh, of just viewers not subscribed so definitely get on there um, the goal here for me is to keep making videos and ideally one day to be monetized and maybe turn this into a little part-time uh, work here so hoping to make lots of videos to keep you interested in creating your own things so yeah definitely subscribe so you can not miss the, the videos. All right, so we've got everything mixed up here and just getting the dust off my surface there. So I'll just be showing you the one doll um, and then you can, you know, do whatever you'd like. If you're not doing the same doll, just use these techniques um, on your own doll. So here I have the black and really you just go ahead and put it on just going to be um, putting it on under the eye there outlining I hope you like how your dolls coming out so far I'm, I'm pretty happy with these so I did end up being a little heavy-handed as you'll see in the video um, with this chalk so I had to go back and fix some things and I'll go over that when it comes to it, how to fix some things. And it's a good thing because then you learn how to fix your own. You know, if you put on too much, um, you can learn how to get it off and fix it. And So the fiber is very forgiving and um, nothing is permanent. And you can always fix it. So that's a good thing. So there I'm just the eyeliner on the other one if you don't have this chalk like I said you can purchase it from Amazon 
Um, or you can try makeup. I think on my next doll, I will give the makeup a go. I have a nice uh, palette of colors that I don't use a whole lot, so I think I'll give it a go. I'm not sure, though, how the oils in the makeup... I'm just giving it a little tap there. Not sure how the oils in the makeup will be long-term. So to be on the safe side, use the chalk. Um, but if you want to experiment, which is always fun, you know, and you have some blush or something or eyeshadow, you can use those too. I am going to be showing you how to seal the doll uh, with like a fabric stiffener. So it's going to, in a sense, get sealed in so it's not going to come off. So here I'm just darkening up the ear. Some of that uh, brown color there. I'm so sorry for my voice. It's, uh, I think, almost better. Almost getting better. So here, just, I, th I think a little bit off screen there, but I'm gonna move up here in just a minute. One of these days I'll get my recording 100% perfect, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So leave me a comment, let me know what you're working on. Here I am going down and contouring the nose. So I guess that makes it look, you know, put in the shading and makes it look a little thinner and I don't really know. <laughs> but I, I don't do, I don't do this kind of thing. So really, I just wanted to show you uh, the chalk and, you know, the ease of putting it on. I looked at a picture and just tried to emulate uh, what, what I saw in the picture. So there's a little pink in the corners of the eyes and darkening up the eyebrows a little bit. So here, I will tell you, um, when I get to the cheeks, I made them just a little bit too uh, too dark. Her, her Winifred's cheeks are very dark in the picture, and so that's okay. It was a little clownish looking, as you'll see when we get there. Um, so what you can do is there's a reverse needle, and you can pull out the wool. So I just went ahead and put the reverse needle in, and pulled out some of the wool underneath the blush where it was too dark and put it, you know, fluffed it back down, uh, needled it back in. And then I also put a very thin layer of wool over top. Um, here, what you can do is use a little bit of that white. So there it was just like a little dark. And so I'm putting some of the white chalk and trying to kind of get it in there I don't know if I needed us. I guess I needed to dab my paintbrush off first. Uh, it was just putting quite a bit on there. But that's okay. I was happy with it in the end. So here I'm just highlighting some areas. A little bit on the forehead there. So it's, it's fun. You know, you just do what you think looks good. And there's no rules, really. Just have fun with it. I think she's looking nice. So, uh, you can put the reverse needle and it'll take out some wool, pull, pull some out, and then you just switch needles to your fine needle and put it back in. So what that does is it'll just put a little bit layer over top and then I also took a very thin layer of the pale peach and put that over top. So it blended it in and it wasn't so dark. Um, when I get to the teeth, I was really upset because the red lips got all over the white teeth. So I tried fixing them with the white chalk and it just, I was not happy with it. So you'll see when we get there. 
Uh, I ended up pulling the teeth out completely, which was very easy to do. And I'm very happy that I did. And I just, it took me mm, probably about 45 minutes to redo the teeth, which wasn't a big deal. So I was very happy that I took them out and redid it. So there you can see the cheeks are really pink. Very, very pink. I probably should have blotted off some, some of that, so. So, it's been so crazy. We've been having work done on our house and it's not going to plan, as work done on your house often does not go to plan, <laughs> at least in my experience. So, uh, that got me thinking about the teeth and I thought, you know, I'm not happy with it and I'm gonna redo it, which hopefully will happen at the house with the work that I'm not happy with. <laughs> So yeah, it's never fun getting work done on your house. I don't, I don't think it's always awful. So yeah, so here's the lips. You'll see where those nice white teeth is so looking so good. And then the red goes on. I tried to be so careful, but it was just so dark that it got on those teeth and kind of just made them pink. So I wasn't happy with it, and that's okay. But it was really fun. She has a cute, she has a cute look to her. I'm gonna lighten those cheeks up. So you know, don't don't be discouraged if you mess up. I know that these take a long time, and you know it can be disheartening. So I have it. Um, not go the way you wanted or to have to redo something. But if it's worth doing, then, you know, it's worth being happy with. So put it up for a day or two and until you feel like going back at it. <laughs> it's not as quiet in this parking lot as I would have hoped. I have to keep <laughs> stopping the video when people drive by. So I'm sorry if you can hear cars going by <laughs> just keep painting your face so here I am doing the bottom and of course I made it too long <laughs> I'm just I'm all over the place so hey uh, take some white and just get rid of it so you know everything can be fixed but yeah just, just have fun you know, don't take it too seriously. I know they take a long time to make. And it's supposed to be calming, right? It's supposed to be our stress, stress reliever, not stress inducer. So, just have fun. Here I'm trying to fix the teeth and that just, this just did not work. <laughs> so, I don't know. I suppose I could have been content with it, but I was not. Oh, I'm just... I'm like, oh no, my my white teeth. So, yeah. So here they are all fixed. And I'm really happy with how they came out. And I hope you subscribe. And next I'll be showing you how to seal the faces. So, alright, thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.